Next, we'll look at setting up routing policies for recreational internet traffic to allow for local public internet access at site locations, but also provide failover to backhaul the internet traffic through a transit site if needed. In SD-WAN Orchestrator, we can easily configure this behavior by enabling internet service from the global delivery services. To set the global settings for all WAN links defined as internet, we can portion out the bandwidth between the various WAN service types. We'll set 70% for overlay communication between the sites and 30% for local internet breakout. The bandwidth will be split in that ratio on a per WAN link basis at each site available in the configuration. The advanced setting of the internet service will allow configuration of route cost and the definition of desired transit sites. By default, the intermediate node, or in this case the data center device, will automatically be set as a transit site providing our desired fallback option for backhaul. There are some additional default behaviors that are automated by the system. Internet WAN links that are configured as untrusted, in other words, no external firewall on the underlay to protect that link, the system will auto-generate dynamic NAT policies and firewall policies to allow and protect the network for the local internet breakout. For internet WAN links that are marked as trusted, the admin is required to enable that dynamic NAT feature. With the new configuration pushed to the devices, retrieving the route table for any of the branch sites will identify the default route for internet service with administrative distance of cost 5. Also notice that the system generates a fallback route for backhaul, in other words the virtual path service, at a higher cost of 10. We can now demonstrate these results by first generating some recreational internet traffic. On a host machine in our branch office site, we'll run a YouTube video. We will also run a continuous ping to that fully qualified domain name. We are actively observing 2 millisecond latency for that connection. In SD-WAN Orchestrator, we can confirm local internet breakout is occurring by fetching the latest site statistics for services specific to internet. We'll now purposely bring down the local internet WAN link for the branch site, leaving only the MPLS link. The highest cost route to backhaul internet traffic will remain. We can see the immediate impact of this in the ping results. We now observe a higher latency of 90 milliseconds where the internet traffic is forced to be backhauled through the transit site. Fetching the latest statistics for the internet service will no longer show the internet service in use. And from the WAN link statistics, we could observe that the traffic is being backhauled using the remaining MPLS WAN link.